This is Twit. Brett in Des Moines, Iowa. Hi, Brett. Leo, hey, man. It's a long-time listener. Great to finally talk to you. Well, thank you for calling. What can I do for you? Yeah, so hopefully this isn't too much of an oddball question, but um, I guess I'm kind of old school in that I, I'm not 100% comfortable with, with a lot of cloud stuff. And a friend and I were talking, and we're trying to figure out a way to back up files to each other, to each other's houses, like an you know, so I can have an offsite backup, but at least then I know exactly where those files it's are. It's a great stored. idea. There's a cloud, but it's your friend's house. <laughs> exactly. I, I love it. Hoping you, yeah, hoping you can point me in the direction to kind of get started on something like that. Well, actually, I do that. So you can have a private cloud. There are a number of ways to do this, and it's a and and, it, and having it at your friend's house solves one big issue, which is you want it, some of it to be off site, so that it's not, you know, if your house burns down, you still have a backup somewhere. And but you don't trust the public internet, and I don't blame you. So let's put this at your friend's house. So I I use something called a file transporter. This is a commercial product. It's ninety bucks, I think, something like that, a hundred bucks for a little puck that you'll have at your house and your friend wants to get one too. And then you attach any USB drive to it. So you can have three terabytes of storage, four, eight now, if you get the new H uh, Hitachi, eight terabytes. So you hook up that hard drive uh, and then you put the software in your computer and you say which folders you want to back up. It'll, if you wish by default, do documents, my documents, my music, my pictures, you know, the, the most common ones, but you can pick other ones as well. Uh, it'll start backing up your stuff to your local file transporter but then you can also say and by the way my buddies let's let's synchronize between each other and so your stuff will get backed up to his similarly his will get backed up to yours so you both get the benefit Perfect. so, that's, so that's one way there's a, other companies that make similar stuff like pogo plug is another one the idea being that uh, you have essentially a, a secure and this is important internet protected an internet connected hard drive you're still on the internet right you're using the internet to get your data to your friend but it uses secure uh http a, a, you know uh to get ssl to get back and forth and you i think you these even encrypted on the hard drive locally so it's even more safe thanks a ton i appreciate yeah, it. yeah i love i've been using the file transporters and i love it because um, you know, this is for the stuff that's most private that I want anybody to see my nude pictures and they're, <laughs> and I have one here and one at home, one in my office and one at home. They keep synchronized and they also keep synchronized to my various computers. They also have a, uh, they have apps for mobile devices. So you can, you're not going to, you could, I guess, yeah, I backs up my photos as well as I take pictures on my smartphone it will back up to my transporter but you can also see anything that's on your transporter so essentially that makes all of the data on my computer available to my smartphone through the transporter it's a really uh, clever solution i think it works quite well when it first came out i wasn't crazy about it the software is a little obscure it's still a little abstruse it's still like you have to spend some time reading the manual and, and understanding what a shared folder is versus a library stuff like that but it's much, it's much better than it was, and it generally just works as you want it to out of the box.